Slam works on Linux and we recommend the kernel Ubuntu 10.04 it also works with other Linux kernels but Ubuntu is what we could support so it starts with the terminal from the terminal we have to start a slam plus this is the only Linux command that has to be input so you need not be worried or bothered of saying like we are not focused to Linux is it going to be difficult and all those things because after typing slam plus it becomes very much of a good GUI windows mode so there won't be any difficulty as far as working with Linux is concerned so upon opening slam that is a tool from study three windows open the first window is called a browsery, browser library or the browser cell window that is the one you are seeing here here it gives libraries that is the projects here it gives the cells that is the files that are present in the projects but the fact is we should not say it has projects and files it has to be said as libraries and cells because using the cells we are creating large sets of libraries so that's how the industry term mentions it the one you see here is called the tkcon window at the bottom it, this is nothing but the process window very similar to a transcript window as far as the Xilinx software is concerned this lamp plus toolbar at the top is for the layout as well as schematic for both these uh, steps of the design this toolbar is very much of use so with this we go into seeing a few examples and some demonstration as well so the first example that we'll be seeing is designing a, an amplifier in the schematic so this is the workspace of slam schematic editor and have taken example of a amplifier so as such slam has got a list of standard libraries so if you go to the schematic reference these are the cells and if you see here these cells are used for larger designs so designing of this NMOS is pretty much simple you just have to go to create create an instance you just click those things it will automatically refer to the library of cells available so I'm just giving NMOS transistor here okay. so this comes and I just place it here then a resistor is required so create instance I just change it as res here immediately changing it to res this changes and it says the value is 1k probably I'll increase it to 3.20k so the value of resistance is 3.2 ohms kilo ohms sorry blank place it here and very similar to any spice tool we have to do the connections of these components so designing of this specific amplifier hardly takes I would say 10 minutes not more than that so this is how uh, an NMOS based amplifier is designed so with this what I do is to complete the whole process of the design flow that is whatever we have seen before in the previous presentation which goes as the design flow this part so the whole of this part I'm going to explain taking one example that is the CMOS inverter during which our whole syllabus is going to be covered that is for the second set of four experiments five to eight so I'll go to this I'll close this and go to this example of CMOS inverter which can very well help us design a complete schematic 
so as per theory this is the CMOS inverter here we see a PMOS transistor this is a NMOS transistor the PMOS transistor is at 2 micron width and length is at 0.18 micron the NMOS transistor is at 0.5 micron width and length is at 0.18 micron so this says PMOS is larger than the NMOS then we do the connection of the VDD through the p-channel substrate and it go and uh, NMOS is connected to the VSS along with the n-channel substrate and here we do the input connection and this goes as the output connection the creation is pretty much the same so what you do is from the library you have to select it as let's say NMOS first put the NMOS here create instance PMOS 2.0 is the width length place it here just do the connections so this is the process of creating CMOS transistor or for for example any any design as well in a schematic so just after creating this CMOS inverter on the schematic we have to do something called as a distal schematic to check if our design is working properly I would say this is the process of checking the syntax so distal schematic I'll just give OK no settings to be changed come to the TKCon window if there are any errors it will be listed out here as mentioned before the TKCon window shows the errors since it says zero there are no errors as such probably in the layout I'll create some errors and help you to see how to rectify the errors when you design the layout so schematics pretty much simple so I'm just finishing with this and then going to the simulation part run simulation so quite a small stimulus for that so V1 VDD VSS is giving 1.3 volts V2 input 0 volts that is the input will require a pulse signal to vary between 0 to 1.8 the rise time is 2 nanoseconds the fall time is 2 nanoseconds the average is 2 nanoseconds the high time is 10 nanoseconds one complete signal the high fall low raise one complete signal is 20 nanoseconds and we connect VSS to the ground panel okay so this completes the stimulus for our schematic of CMOS inverter so as per theory the input should complement and give the output so wherever our input is 0 output has to be 1 wherever input is 1 the out output has to be 0 this is the theory so as such I've gotten the input signal so this is our simulation window I've gotten the input signal from here output is here so I'm just selecting the output and dragging and dropping it here so this is our simulated output waveform the input yellow is the output the lower level is 0 as mentioned here the peak is at 1.8 volts so if we see if we measure the values of let's say this is the rise time place two cursors in the ends end to end of the cursors with a 
is the yellow cursor and the white cursor at the ends of pi and yeah if you see zoom in and see this is a rise of the signal so this becomes a rise time and we have mentioned it as 2 nanoseconds here so we have got the value as 2 nanoseconds here so that becomes our rise time likewise if we see the high high time time for which our signal is high see this red this is the high time so between the white cursor and the yellow cursor it says 10.046 n so that's what we have given here 10 nanoseconds so we get the same values let's say for example if you are going for multiple simulations with multiple values have to be found out or multiple simulation engines have to be run we can see the parameters like this we just have to add the panels and see multiple signals at the same time during the examination will be very, very helpful where a student runs one simulation keeps all these graphical outputs parallel so that the staff can come and quickly see the signals so maybe this we can have only as an input signal this only as an output signal so it goes like this you can easily have multiple windows to measure the outputs. So NG Spice is the simulation tool. So what we have done is a spice simulation. So so far we have completed schematic as well as spice simulation. So that completes our first experiment that is schematic along with spice simulation.